Welcome back to VMS TV. This show we have a cooking segment that will butter you up, an out of campus camera, and a story on a person who does the same work as we do. So sit back and relax, Valley, because VMS TV starts right, right now. Now, to start off our show today, we have a story about a local sushi business that's been here a while, but you may not know about. Bigger isn't always better, and there's no better example of that than a community favorite sushi joint in the heart of Carlsbad Village. Oh, my name is Tomio Nakanishi, and I... You gotta be there bright and early. With photojournalist Phoenix Zack, I'm Gabriel Galfano. I'm very hungry for sushi. I'll check out Yoshino this week. For this 8th grade campus camera, it'll be off campus and at Carlsbad High School. Take it away, Isaiah. Alright, I'm here at Carlsbad High School and we're going to be talking to the students on why we should come here and the best part about high school. Come on. Alright, AJ, what should we expect when we come to the school? Um, that everybody's really nice and they'll treat you with respect. Alright, what's the best part about high school? Um, probably just hanging out with friends. This school gives you many opportunities and fun experiences. Um, just all the people, really fun, just, yeah. Uh, football games and the teachers are a lot nicer. The best part about high school, um, honestly the memories you make. I love being around new friends and new people and you meet new people all the time and have such great connections. It's really awesome. So how does Valley, or just middle school, compare to Carlsbad? Uh, the high schools are obviously a lot bigger, you know, uh, a lot of classrooms, uh, harder classes and like, you know, it's a lot harder and it's four years, so. Like, um, middle school or high school better and why? Um, I think high school, because you can make new kids, new friends, it's, it's popping. This has been an amazing time learning about so much about high school. Thank you for watching and get off your phones and advisory. It's pumping? Yeah, pumping. Some NASA campus camera. Moving on, we'd like to join Kira for our first weather report of 2023. Take it away, Kira. Today, the weather is going to be a sunny 57 degrees, and on Thursday, the weather is going to be a sunny 61. Well, on Friday, to end off the school week, we have a cloudy 63 degrees. That's all I have for you, and I'll toss it back to Summer and John. Thank you for the weather. That was great. And now we have a story on a professional news anchor. I'm Andrew Luria. I work at Fox 5 San Diego. I've been a news anchor for 21 years. Andrew's a very hardworking Fox 5 news anchor, but it wasn't easy getting there. I was about your age when I first took interest in this, so doing kind of things that you guys are doing right now. And I did a project on my uncle, who was a sportscaster in, in Washington, D.C. Took a lot of interest in what TV was all about, and I started taking every class I could and every uh, avenue I could toward uh, learning as much about it as I could. Andrew has accomplished many things as a news anchor, including 10 you wouldn't expect. Well, I've won 10 Emmy Awards, so that's always uh, a cool thing. But my favorite accomplishment is the Ivy Awards we won running MAG TV over at Magnolia. As you can tell, Andrew's an amazing Fox 5 news anchor. But what does he do outside the job? So um, when my son Jackson, who's now in BMS TV, was in fourth grade, they asked me if I would help out with MAG TV. And so uh, I went from, can you help out, to will you run this thing? And I took it on and I love it. It's like one of those things that I do that, that um, I'm really focused on uh, every single day to make sure that these kids can learn as much as they can about broadcasting. It's been super fun to see not only um, what they do here at Magnolia, but then what they do as they take it on to Valley and then beyond to Carlsbad High, not just in broadcasting, but also as like leaders in um, student government, that sort of thing. So I've been doing it for the last five years now and it's a lot of fun. Reporting for VMS TV with Cooper Kennedy, I'm. Well, I, I, I was afraid there was somebody behind me. Adler Gobel. Thanks, Andrew, for that super story. <laughs> We're coming down from the big Post. to the smalls. Some might even call it mini. Hey guys, welcome back to a new edition of Shot on iPhone. We're here at Boomers and we're going to see if we can win at mini golf. Let's go. So, for the first hole, we got a straight away and then a little circle at the end. Let's see how it goes. For the next hole, you shoot it through a skull and it comes out the back. I think you missed. Oh! 
This one has a twist in it. The score came out to 34 to 27, so it looks like Jade took the cake on that one. That's all for today, guys, and I'll send it back to the desk. Thanks, Reese, for putting us onto the green. Now for a magic window segment with the ground on, uh, Groundhog himself, punks to Tony Phil for Groundhog's Day. Hi, Valley. I'm Elle Jacobs, and today's magic window is on Groundhog's Day. The holiday first started on February 2nd, 1887 in Gobbler's Knot, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. They use one main groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, and he has supposedly been making the predictions the entire time, making him over 125 years old. He is able to live as long thanks to an elixir he gets every summer, and he's also married to his wife, Phyllis. The groundhog stays inner circle, is made of 50 members who not only care for Phil, but also keep the traditions alive. The legend of Groundhog's Day basically goes that if the groundhog comes out of his den and sees his shadow, winter stays for six more weeks. Or he comes out and doesn't see his shadow and spring starts early, six weeks early. What do you think Phil's predictions will be this year? I'll send it back to the studio. Do you think he will see his shadow? Now, we're gonna flip over to our lovely campus camera with Kira. Hi, I'm Kira Lucas, and the question for today is, what's your New Year's resolution and how's it going? Uh, my New Year's resolution home. is uh, going to the gym more often, and it's been going really well. I've been going almost uh, five days a week. Uh, probably to just be kinder to my friends and not annoy them, and not going too good, guys. What's your New Year's resolution? How's it going? Uh, my New Year's resolution is to do a snap on my surfboard, and it's going pretty well. Um, watch more Clipper, the big red dog, and I haven't really like done that at all. What's your New Year's resolution? How's it going? Um, my New Year's resolution is to do good in school, and it's going pretty good. What's your New Year's resolution? How's it going? Uh, my New Year's resolution five new skate tricks, and I've learned two so far. It's going good, and my New Year's resolution is to get all A's. Man, New Year's resolution this year is to be, spend more time with my family, and it's going pretty well, considering the rain. What's your New Year's, New Year's resolution? Now, moving on, let's watch an intense cooking show gone wrong. Hey Valley, welcome back to another seventh grade cooking show. The bars was normal. There's got mayonnaise and cinnamon. It's, it's just gonna be delicious. And it has water on it. <laughs> Spray this on their cinnamon rolls. Now he has cinnamon. Oh, oh, he's just so much more sabotage. Can we implement that border again? We're not sabotaging. Flat hard. It'll melt in the oven. Don't. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, cross out. Now it's balsamic vinegar. Okay, we have extra dough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. I just poured cinnamon all over it. Go crazy with the frost. Go crazy with the frost. Alright, alright, alright. That looks delightful. No, oh, why do we put this back in the oven? Oh, wait, that's wrong. Some reason is feel. Someone's gonna put it on the ceiling. No, just grab Connor and just like. Oh, this is.
this looks nasty. Um, do I have to eat it? Yes, do you have to. So the girls put some like drink on it, the bottom. It's actually good. It's really squishy. I'm giving it like a seven or eight. Actually, it's really good. Like if y'all were to eat it, I feel like y'all would think that was actually good. I give it a five because like the frosting is really watery. Let's get some of the sauce. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm, not bad. I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten, J like six to seven out of ten because like. Oh, it's warm and stuff. It tastes good, but like at the same time, I just don't want to eat it. I like it. Um, I give it an eight and a half. So, who do you guys agree on the winner? The uh, girls. Yeah, the girls team. Mm-hmm. Katie, better go. The girls. How? That, wait, hold up. That's. That. It took us two hours to make the dough, and we actually made it, and we didn't buy it. That was a scrum diddly umptious cooking competition. Sadly, we have to wrap up our show. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, Vikings. Vikings.